Yeah, man. Dan Sinclair, me I tell you. Unruly Cooley, me I tell you, man. Subscribe to this man. You are now. This is Prince Allah. Fix your color. I'm and so a stone. Just a come for my strong room. Blazing Rastafari. Subscribe. Welcome, people. Welcome. Still here in Jamaica. 2024. Myself, I'm really cool with Don Sinclair. And right now, we're in Sugar Miner's studio. You plan promotion with none other than the legend himself. Prince Allah. Thank you very much. Good to be here, Rastafari. Yes. So, people, yes, as I've just said, a real, true legend with us here right now. And we're going to give you some quick fire questions, yes. give you some quick answers, yes. um, and we'll get through them. All yes. right? Yes. So, first of all, let me just ask you, how have you been keeping? Are you well? You are looking well, don't you think so, people? Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> He's looking very well, a real style at their yeah, coordinating yeah, and everything, yeah? yeah? yeah You're looking well. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, man, I've been well and try to eat right you know to keep the immune system mm -hmm. right you know that's the first one the immune system you know so give thanks yes. i'm here live and kicking absolutely all right so i'm going to start off with obviously your journey through music and let's just start off first of all with how you started in music what age were you and what and yeah. who inspired you well you know give thanks People, you know, well, I started music, well, from a young age, you know. I love it. My grandmother used to join a church, you know, and she used to come to a choir meeting, you know, and she would sing a tenor. I voice, I used to love to hear her, you know, so that the church, and when they have any celebration like Easter, holiday, or all them things, they have to just sing Our Father as nice. a little youth, you know, so. That's how I came into the music, you know, Rastafari way, you know, Rastafari. Okay. Yes. So thanks to grandmother, right? <laughs> grandmother, yes, ma'am. So did anyone else in the family sing? Did anyone else have this God-given talent of singing? Was there anybody else or was that mainly your grandmother? No, it was just me alone. Okay. You know, like in the family, I just, me, a Rasta, mm. well, I just, me, get a message yeah, yeah. from the Almighty, you know, singers and players of instruments, he got a message that really carry to the people, yes, you yes, know. Yes. So how did you discover that you, you had this voice and you was given this God-given talent of singing beautifully? Well, when I used to sing Our Father in church, people used to say, Ray, but it was like, I didn't really realize about the voice and them things there. You know? How was you singing it? You must have sung really sweet. Give me a little snippet. Oh, them time they would know when you're Christian, you know? Yeah, yeah. You know? Like yeah. I said, Our Father who art in heaven, all the ways be thy name. Them kind of thing, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's beautiful. That is just sweet. Thank, thank you so you, thank much. You, thank you. you. All right. So, um, so not only do you sing, you write music as yes, well. Is that yes, right? Yes. Okay. So, how did that start? I mean, what inspires your writing? Well, well, you know, at the age, you know, but when I reach about, you know, you know, eighteen, you know, my father said, "I love Rasta." My father said, "No, you can't." Stay in the home and be a rasta. You have to trim and stay here and or, or you go. Yeah. So I said, all right. So when he's gone to work, I just took a little bag and went, you know, among some rasta people. Okay. They used to play the chant, the drums right. and them things. Yes. Yes. It, it fascinated me so much to hear mm -hmm. the Naya Bingi, you know? Yeah. And yeah. when I hear, the, 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 like, I hear some angels singing when I hear them. Yeah. So yeah. that gave me the, 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 the music vibes, you know? Mm -hmm. you know? You know, yeah. that music vibes, yeah. you know, so yeah. that is where I got the, that, that music vibes and realized because they used to want me to sing yep. with them, mm -hmm. you know, and say, yes, man, I love your voice, sing with us, yeah. you know, so I kind of start sing with them, sing with them you know, yeah, yeah. until now, right. still singing with them. Yes, still singing, <laughs> yes. And what a blessing it is to us all as well, to have you still singing. Yeah, thank you, thank blessing. you, thank you very much, my sister, thank you. So, um, growing up, did you ever buy like singles, like buy music or vinyls yourself? 
was there any particular music that you bought? No, no. Song? When my no. father used to do those things, you know. Okay. But but there was one singer mm -hmm. that he used to come over my home in the nights. Yeah. You know, and he, he would call me and out in a, and we'd have a whole car on the back and he would carry me in there with his guitar and he'd, he'd play and that singer is Slim Smith, Keith Slim Smith, that great singer. Yeah. Every night, so sometimes when I'm inside, my mother says, go, come Prince, here, your friend come and them things, so I go out there and sing every night. So he was my inspiration, okay. Slim Smith, you know, yeah. that yeah. singer, right. yeah, man. sweet yeah. sensation, that deep singer. That was my main inspiration, yeah. that singer. Yeah. Yeah. And um, where did you attend school? Well, I went to a school in, in, in Queenstown, you know, in, in, in Invincible, Invincible School. I went there, you know, mm -hmm. until a certain age. But, you know, because sometimes, uh, you know, people poor and we uh, yeah. you know, couldn't yeah. really go to a big school. Big so, school. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I just say Rastafari and give thanks for music that I could be here now, yeah. that I could talk to some the whole world, you yeah. know, yeah. so give thanks. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, and what other artists do you admire? Well, I know you'll have a list, but yes. who comes to mind first? Yes, like Ken Booth. Okay. Alton yes. Ellis. Yes, yes. You know, Delroy Wilson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, all those people, man. Yeah. Great, great. I used to love to hear them, you know? Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So you collaborate with many people along the way. Is there anyone that you haven't collaborated with and you would would have liked to? So maybe they've moved on, they've passed Oh, away, my, you, you know? touch a very, yeah. very nice point. Right at the studio now, you know? One day I was in the studio. And Sugar Miner came to me and said, Prince Allah, I want me and you to do a combination. Yeah. And I said, yes, Sugar, I would love that. Yeah. But he passed away before that even happened. Yeah. So that question you really asked me is like, you're a prophetess that knows what was happening, you know? Yeah. That's true. Sugar Miner is a singer that I was so well want to do a combination. Plenty of big artists, you know, but no disrespect, but Sugar Miner. That the man I wanted to do, especially, you know, Sugar Miner, Rastafari. So, um, you mentioned that you started off in church, part of the choir with your grandmother. Yes. Um, and then, did you move on to like um, doing stuff on the sound system? And who was, who were they? Yes. Well, well, well. We had a little group, you know, by the name of leaders, me and our brother named Milton Henry and Roy Palmer, and we used to live in Greenstone. So every evening we'd have our uh, little rehearsal at the corner. Mm -hmm. They call that the little corner, Dallas corner, because we just love the name. The little corners the corner are for the American <laughs> name, the man, the cowboy's name, the yeah. man, them thing there. Yeah. But there was a, a man by the name of Joe Gibbs. Okay. He used to come there to his girlfriend every day. Mm -hmm. So he used to hear us singing and came to me one evening and say, Oh, you, I would love to join your group, you know, yeah. because I love music. And I said, yeah, man, because he had a little band. We say, well, look, a little man, a little band, he could carry us anywhere we want to go and them things. Yeah, man, come join us. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, mm -hmm. when he came there the next evening to, to join the group, he couldn't sing. He couldn't sing. No, Gibbs, oh, with no respect to you, bro, give up. But he couldn't sing. So we said, we have to find a next position for this man. Yeah, yeah. So we said, then, Better you be our producer, better you be our, oh. our producer some song, man. Go to the studio with us, man. Yeah. And he said, yes. So we went to Island Records. Okay. They've been a long time there, they are right. on Ashnaim Road. Island Records. Uh -huh. and, and we did the first song then. Yeah. Yeah. You know, with Gladdy, the pianist, and, right. and those people. Yeah. You know, Jackie Jackson mm -hmm. and that man there. You know, so we did the first set of songs with Joe Gibbs. Lovely. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. And that's nice that you found him something else to do. Was it like, right? You're no good for us, see you later. You no, found no, him something else. Yeah, yes, right. because, because he was, a, he was a, a technician, you know. He right. could fix radio and all okay. those things, you so know. Okay, so made use and, of his talent. All right, yeah. then. So he said, you must find a point. <laughs> you know. So he said, be a producer. Yeah. And he was a producer okay. for Joe. Okay. You know, Joe Gibbs. So, presently, um, who would you say are your top sound systems? Top three, top three. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, in those times, you don't have any really top top sound system like yeah. in a mile like, like, you yeah, know yeah, yeah, but, but the one yeah. that keep alive still is, is stone love 
You know, so I love because he, he keep relevant. Mm -hmm. He's always playing. Yeah. Both in Jamaica and in the whole world, you know, Stone Love always, you know, so yeah. I'm representing. Yeah. Stone Love. Love Stone. Stone Love. Yeah. So, um, in your musical journey, of course, you're going to have lots of good memories, but yeah. is there something particular that you look back and you recall on and you're like, that's such a good memory? Yes. The day we went, me and Tapazuki went to the Ark Studio. Right. Lee Scratch Perry. Wow. You know, man, and, and, and when we went there, Scratch said, who this? Yeah. Tapa, and, and Tapa said, he's a singer named Prince Allah, and I said, Prince Allah, let me hear a song. Mm -hmm. And I said, what? Come from Bozak with his garments dipped in blood. And I said, what? Come out, come out. <laughs> and, and he said, hold me on my shoulder and spin me round and round, so, and yeah. then things, and, and, yeah. and upset, I start playing with them, and start round me, yeah, 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 you know, so. That was such a good, you know, Lee Scratch Perry, you know, yeah. peak, you know, mm -hmm. you know, and, and a man like that really, you know, accept me them ways there, nice. and, and, and upset us, oh, it was so very nice, you know, that is a, one of the biggest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Right. Well, 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 you know, you know, no, Tubbies mm -hmm. came next. Okay, yeah, and you must Tubbies tell us King, about Tubbies. Tubbies came next yeah. still, you know, and, 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 and me and Bertram Brown went to King Tubbies and, in Tubbies, we did a song. I man saw a stone just a come for mash down Rome. And Tubby said, What? I don't mix people's song, but I'm going to mix this one. Yeah. So King Tubbies mixed that song for us. Yeah. I remember that. King Tubbies mm -hmm. and mix a Prince Allah song, them time there. Lick a Prince Allah. Big, Big Prince Allah now. Boom! <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So you do reggae music, but do you have a, a love or a passion for any other genres of music? Yes, because my, my, my father now, he had, he had a thing they call gramophone. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. the London gramophone. Uh -huh. You know, one with, yeah, with, 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 with like a, a like, like a, yes, like a rooster, like a vinyl. rooster. Yeah, they, yeah. But he used to have all songs, uh -huh. you know, Calypso, okay. you know, he had all songs, you know, you know, blues, rhythm and blues, jazz. Nice. Everything, scare nice. everything. Yeah. So when he's gone to work and I'm not going to school any day, I just play a thing and they get red hot. Yeah. And you know, the call me, Mr. Pillar, and say, You play me thing too much, it's still hot. <laughs> Don't play it again. <laughs> but as I'm gone, I'm going to play it again. Yeah. But uh, my father, yeah, yeah. all he can do is talk and cry. But uh, my father. Yeah. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah, right. But I love all music. That's the sound of music, you know, love it. So, um, going forward for the rest of this year, what are your plans? Well, my plans, I'm supposed to be in Sweden and um, you know? place here and Spain, you know, you know it's cold in, in there, June, right? it's but, cold? In, but in June. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, not, no, you know, in, yeah, in yeah, June, yeah. them times, you know. Uh, I, so that is my future, you know. With a brother named Doc, you okay. know, Doc from Spain, you know, so is it I'm um, really focusing on right now, you know. So, where in the world have you travelled and you, it's most memorable for you? And you think, I'd like to go back there. I know, I put you on the hot spot yes, there, haven't yes, I? Yeah, because a lot of places I like to go back, you know. You know okay, it doesn't have to be one place, you, you can say it. It have to be one place. Switzerland! Oh. I love Switzerland! You know, because I used to travel with a brand name, Asha Selector, mm -hmm. Switzerland. So very clean, yeah. uh, all, uh, all in the city. When you see the river, I couldn't believe that would be a river. Yeah. Uh, it, it's like you can see every little stone in the bottom. Right, right. Yeah. The morning I wake up and I, I said, let us go down by the sea. Mm -hmm. He says, not a sea, this thing, so it's a lake. I said, yeah. what? Yeah. The lake is so big. You know, yeah. my brain, woo, you know. But the water is so clean. Yeah. A bridge in, yeah. you know, and people so loving, you know, and yeah. she said, oh gosh, man. Nice, nice. Sometimes I have to help me, help yeah. me with people, and because people want to photograph people. Yeah. And it was of so surprising course. to me because in Jamaica, other than the body wine, you yeah. know, uh, you know, about the place, man, Rastafari, I love to go back there in the summer. In the summer. Yes. Right. Did you get to have a dip in that? that? Lake. <laughs> no, because of those, it was in summer to always cool. Yes, yes. Yes, I'm going to pass and watch some, some, some people that would be native here yeah. jumping off a bridge into the water mm -hmm. in the corner and say, What? 
but them do it, you know, yeah. why couldn't do that? Yeah. But even in, 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 the, in the summertime, the water, you know, yeah. chill, have a temperature, you know. Yeah, so I, when I want my wife, I just, I just go in the bathroom and turn on the hot yeah. water. Man. <laughs> That's what I do as well. Hot water! <laughs> yeah, man. Nice as smart, that hot water. But man. they say it's good to have a cold shower. Apparently, it gets your blood circulating. Yes, it's, it, it's something for your memory cells as well, your brain cells. They say it stimulates the memory. But you yeah. seem to have a good memory with the hot you shower are, still, right? Yeah, but you feel, you make me feel like I want to go in a cold one now to get the memory the right way. <laughs> You know, but but it's all right. You yeah, know, yeah. I'm I'm 99 percent. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, if you wasn't doing music and you wasn't an artist, what else do you think you would have been doing? Well, my sister here, you know, serious matter this, you know, because in in the eighties, you know, some producers start come to me and say, Prince Ella, yeah, you want to do some song, but you do some song, but killing and shooting and, and, and them things there, you know, and, and about the girl, them and them things there, and the girl, and, and I said, no, you know. So I went, living in Greenstone, it's so near to the, the, to the beach, the seaside, so let's go down to the seaside and start, catch some fish, sell some, oh, eat wow. some, sell some, eat some, and that was my daily, right. until, until the storm kind of passed, yeah, you know, yeah. until Bob Marley gone and see them and come and and wipe out certain things and revive up certain yeah, roots yeah. and again, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. So that um, I did. So a real fisherman right here. Yeah, man. Yeah. What You're technique was you using? Was you using a rod or was you sparing no, no, it? No, 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 no. It was just a line. Yeah. yeah I yeah. know we as a little poor fisherman, we can't even afford a rod and them things. Yeah. You know, see, so we just use so our use line. A stick and put, uh, no, a line. We just use the fish line. Yeah. Well, that's on the reel. Yeah, yeah. And the reel have some. You was trying to put on the hook and take a little bait and put on the hook and with a little piece of lead on it to right. make it a little bean piece of lead yeah, to yeah. make it sink and you mm. out there. Ah. Yeah, ah. <laughs> but you have to make sure to hold the fish this way. Yeah. Hold them by the head, come down so the cat will just hold them across and back. Okay. It's stick you. Yeah, you know, yeah, so yeah. You have to yeah. have you can just hold them by his head so and take up you and show me your box. Sometimes we carry ice with us in the box if yeah. we're going to stay overnight. Yeah. That's the fish that is fresh. But if it's in the day, we don't carry no ice with okay. us. Yeah. It must be a real satisfying, like rewarding feeling that you've caught the fish and you see them there. Yes, yes. Right? Yeah, well, you know, my sister fishing is a thing where Billy, you know, because you have to have patience. You know, because That's why I couldn't do it because I don't have the patience. Yes, because I some, tried it, it didn't work. It didn't work, my sister. <laughs> and sometimes that patience. If you just move from Beersa to a different place, yeah. you know, yeah. you can find it. You know, and sometimes you're there and because fish move like people, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Beersa can be empty and, mm -hmm. and I don't know what might happen. Yeah. And, and when you take it, crowd from all about start pass, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Yeah. Something happening in, in the current or something and some fish come from uptown and just really long comes right and come stop and have a party. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And so three and have yeah. a party and you go and whoop 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 till you have to say all right no more no more and pack up and leave there. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. But sometimes you're there until you yes, drop asleep. So what we used to do is tie them onto your toe. Onto your toe and yeah. sometimes the toe wake you up. Twitch. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. You, <laughs> yeah, you know, and so that's it, you know, that's it. Oh, that's a good technique to do. Yes, yeah. on your toe, you know. Because yeah. yeah. if it's not on your toe and, and you have in there and it just, it might dry it out of your hand uh -huh. and the reel and everything gone in the water yeah. and the fish gone in it, mm -hmm. you can't go in the water, catch that again, you know. True. You have to, you True. book that you have a next reel or fishing line. If you yeah. don't have any more, you just throw up your hand come, mm -hmm. and gone home. Mm -hmm. But most time we don't go with just one. Yeah. We go with uh, four reels and, and, and a pack with with, with, with your little hooks then. Okay. Because yeah. sometimes you throw it over and a big bad fish just go to and pack it and go. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sometimes you throw it to you because you don't leave. Every time you throw it over, you just grab it. Yeah, the big bad fish. Big yeah. bad fish, grab it. <laughs> Yeah, man, I'm biting it up, and yeah. you put your political line, it's like nothing to him. I'm yeah, yeah. yeah, going, but I'm yeah. just going to pull. Yeah. 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 So, in, in your journey and reflecting back, is there anything you look at and think, if I was to go back and do it again, I would do it differently? 
I know we can't go back in time, but yeah, yeah. We, we can't. And everything happens as it's meant to happen. I know that. But is there anything yeah. that you think sometimes, right, maybe I should have taken that opportunity and done that or, or whatever, or something you might have thought you, you think you might have done differently? That's a tough question, no, huh? Yeah, tough question. <laughs> because, 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 you know, you know, because, yeah, because, you know, we always, I, 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 as a youth, them time, they always try to live, you know, the right way, you know, and try to do the right thing, you know. Yeah. But, yeah, most always things, because, you know, even at my age, you know, remember, it's certain insurance and certain, it, 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 um, trust and them things, you know, for you know, home trust, they, them don't get them things, yeah, yeah. So if, if 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 I could do it over, I would do all those things. Yes. I should be a bit more comfortable now. Yeah. You know. So it's just those little things. But for living, the liberty part, uh, it's all right. You yeah. know, because I, I don't really have any regrets. No, it was just my being the financial part. Yes. And like the music part, them times we just sing. Yeah. We don't we don't think about business. Mm -hmm. You know, because we never even know the boy I could have sing a song and play in England. Yeah, true. I never knew to put past Port Royal. Yeah. You know? So we never really you know the business part. We just like singing and people say, Yes, I love that and yeah. you hear your music play on the radio. Yeah. And you say, Yeah and that's it. That's it. Yeah. Yes, you know. Yeah. So if 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 I could do it over, I would be a businessman, a music businessman. That's too. right, that's right. So that follows up to the next question I'm going to ask you. If you was the most powerful man in the music industry, what changes would you make or what would you put in place? Uh, in, in the industry, yeah. in the world or in Jamaica? Um, either one is up to you. Either up one. To, yeah. Well, in Jamaica, if I was popular, I would have an academy in Jamaica. Yeah. Where like a youth man promotion used to have peer youth there, mm -hmm. out of academy and out of instruments of all that every youth can come and learn to play music. Yeah. Because you know right now plenty of the youths them don't know how to play instrument. Yes. Yeah. yeah. In my times as a youth, everybody either him can play a little piano or him can play a little guitar mm -hmm. or play a little drum. Yeah. So, so you, that's why certain songs used to be made them times here. Yeah. And people don't really imitate people or follow people in try to create something with this instrument. Yeah. It's not like nowhere a youth and everybody want to sing like that youth there because in bus. Yeah, yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Them times everybody want to sound their way. That's right, yeah. Have an identity, yeah. you know, them time there. You yeah. know? So uh, them yeah. things uh, I, I, I would say, you know, things I would keep on doing, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yes, if I was so, that would have been Yeah, so would that be something similar to like the Alpha Boys School? Yes, it be something, similar. yeah, but with the Alpha Boys School now it would be big, but, but it's just because it was coming under a religion. Okay. But how that spread it to just a foundation thing, mm -hmm. that that's you have instrument and singers, you know, and even sports people too, yeah. because they give that, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, that would be a damn thing that I would do. So I would have said to the government, mm -hmm. music is one of Jamaica's, not even one of, Jamaica's biggest industry, music. I went to Russia, and when I, around it, I went to the immigration, I hear some man say, oh, we were calling some people. I was so sad to tremble and say, what is this now in Russia? Why are they calling so much immigration for me now? Uh -huh. And when they come now, they say, Bob Marley, country, Bob Marley. And I say, yes. And they say, hey, Stam, go to, go to Bob Marley. So you see, yeah. the music. That's why it's powerful, huh? The government of Jamaica is not angling the music the right way, you know? They should set up things for the artists both young and old, yeah. academy for the artists. Because right now, reggae music is want to be taken over yeah. by other countries, and you can't blame them. Mm -hmm. Because it has to be alive. That's what they Say if something has to be alive, yeah. if we don't want to do it, you're going to make somebody over there to do it. Yeah. So if you can do it in Jamaica, we get to get first, keep it up, and don't try to break it up. 
So I tell the government, confirm for the music. Because, you know, the government, most government, even in Jamaica, they don't love reality, you know. And because this music is so reality and spiritual, they don't want to accept it because it's talking about repatriation and redemption and love, and, and they don't want that. They want violence and crime because that is the biggest business in Jamaica. One of the biggest businesses in Jamaica. So I say to the government, Instead of you say you're fighting crime, build the music and defend music. And that will cut down every crime, the music. Because when a man have him gone and in the, the, the dance and hearing righteousness, he don't want, him, him don't want the gun again, he want to shoot you. But when he hear, boss a shot now boy, he go so and do it. And you, the government, allow them things to happen and you don't prosecute a man fit said and things there, so you are one of the cars. Yeah. Because the government benefits off of those, those things that we can get taxed and get money, lawyer, everybody get fat, you know? So I just said the music, that's what they must yeah, focus on. Definitely. With education, not dedication. Yeah. In all my visits, I mean, coming to Jamaica over the years, I, I've seen myself everywhere you go. You can go to the street corner, you can go to the, the shopping mall, wherever, on anywhere. There's so many people talented with this gift of either singing, playing an instrument, doing something musical. And it, it's, I understand what you're saying. That if they had an academy of somewhere to go, they could go and express themselves, yeah, make man. something of themselves, yeah, you know. Um, yeah, and hopefully, you know, leave that life of living on the street and doing yes. the bad news, you know? Yes, yes, yes. So, yeah, definitely just so much talented and gifted yes. people yes. in Jamaica. Yes. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable, my sister. Yeah. But it's real, you know? It's real. It's, it's real, real thing you see, you know? Yeah. 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 So, you've done many songs, I know that, but is it one particular song that you've done, your own song, that you think of and you're really proud of it? Of course you're proud of it. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. One, but, one song I did, a song they call Bucket Bottom. Oh. But I was to be going to a show in, in the 80s and, and, and I said that not going because the artist them that they was carrying was some relevant, relevant artists that had hit songs and whatever. So I said no. And the promoter said, come on, come to England. And when I reach here, yeah. when I sing, it's fear forward. But when I sing Bucket Bottom, yeah. I, I treat about 10 times Bucket Bottom. Yeah. Bam, I left there and I went to a bridge and said, boy, I'm going to invite you to my wedding, you know. But when I go to my wedding and the bride and the groom was dancing, this bucket bottom was playing. Oh. And you know them times there when people marrying and, and them things, they, 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 they dance with that song like, I bow to you and I them things. And you hear them singing bucket bottom, so it was, that song they really, you know, bucket bottom. All of them, but bucket bottom. Give us a little piece of that, just to... Bini 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 Every day bucket go well One day the bottom must drop out You're never gonna miss that water Until the whale runs dry Whale runs dry Oh yeah Fire! <laughs> yeah, yeah, Thank you, that's yeah, beautiful. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> okay, so moving on from that, um, what kind of music have you been listening to recently? Is there anything particular that you've been listening to? You're waking up and you're finding yourself singing to? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sometimes I wake up and I'm singing one of my songs. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> but, uh, that's, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I love you, know, man. Yeah, 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 and places that I, I think of to, to go in the days where I can hear the real music, like even here, yeah. you know, you know, right here, our caveman studio, mm -hmm. those two places, yeah. you know, favorite of my heart. Yeah. When it comes to music, you know, down the minor, you know, sugar minor, son, best like a Hebrew brethren, yeah. you know. 
because we are Hebrew, you know. Hebrew yeah. brethren <laughs> and caveman, you know, in you know, a rubber dub, lawn and them things there, rubber dub, you know. So, yeah, man, there's places that I, I, I even dream about sometimes that I'm at, you know. I'm glad to wake up and say, yes, I'm going there today, you know. So, when you're performing, probably in the earlier days, yeah. were you ever nervous? Did you ever feel a bit of nerves? You've seen a crowd of people and you're feeling a bit nervous? Yeah, the first time. The first time. The first time, but 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 I won the competition. So. Oh, was it a competition? <laughs> yeah, oh. but yes, as I look at you, and yeah. but but that nervousness there will turn into a kind of spirituality thing in me. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's when we are singing now mm -hmm. and sing. It's like when the song I'll finish and the people are making noise. I can't stop. Oh, it, it first gives of all, you a, yes, a boost to sing yes, more, it, right? It, yes, it's, uh, it, 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 it's the people, it's my brethren, they put all them, put me around my shoulder and take me off the stage. Oh. Because my body is shaking, <laughs> but I can't stop singing. It's like, it sent me to a different yeah. I mention, yeah, yeah. Uh, not dimension, yeah. I mention. I yeah, yes. Yeah. Nice. You know, nice. that first time in my life, you know, and I'm glad for that, you yeah. know. Yeah. Yes, Lovely. I love so, have you ever, like, whilst performing, forgotten some of your lyrics? Because sometimes I, I know I've noticed you know, artists and they forget them, they put a little rhythm and do a little doobity doo in there to fill the gap until they get the memory back for what the lyrics are. Have you ever forgotten your lyrics or got a little Yeah, block? one time. Yeah. Because I was, I was, I was in Switzerland yeah. and, 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 and a brother gave me a rhythm to do a song and and I said, record it for him and everything, all right. But the night of the show, no. Yeah. Then request that song to me sing it. Okay. Woo. Well, you know, I just made up a song and a lyric. I didn't remember it. Yeah. But I don't remember the, how it start. Yeah. So I just started yeah. with, 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 with that, with, with, with the catch line, uh -huh. you know? Yeah. And just yeah. finish it and then that's catch right. it back again. Up. <laughs> and people say, Ray! Yeah. And I say, whoa, that's yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. They don't know that I don't even remember the song. Yeah. But I uh, sing all him about them too, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and sing about Switzerland too, it's a part of it. And, you know? Yeah. And when I sing about them and Switzerland, the children of, 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 of Switzerland, hey, you know? Yeah. Nice, nice. Okay, so we're coming to our, our final question now. Um, what can the fans and the audience out there, the viewers, Expect from Prince Alan now going forward in the, this year and to the next year. It's I know here. you want to go to Switzerland. We know that. Yes. <laughs> yes. What about the UK? Don't you want to come to us? Yeah, but the UK was a place that really established me. Yeah. Because in them times, when you sing here now in my time as a youth, mm -hmm. the promoters them release the song in England until they not now go on. That right. word, eh, the patwa word, yeah, yeah. not now go on. That means mm -hmm. there is nothing, nothing happening. Yeah. So when you go to him and say what me say, not now go on, you, you have to you, you break, you have to leave him because he said nothing. Yeah. So you can't get nothing, you have to leave when they are in giant company with the people okay. in England. Yeah, yeah. So that's why when I went to England and sing Bucket Bottom, ooh, it's about ten times I had to sing that song. Yeah. So I said, big up England. Big up the whole of Europe, but I said England. You are, you are, you are the, the one like I mean, like when they, like when they put Moses in a in, in, in a basket. basket. Yeah, <laughs> and, and and the people found me. England found me. Yeah. You know the people in England. I thank you very much. People of my age and even the younger ones. Because when I sing in England, it's pure youth I see come at the stage. So I say, what is? Yeah, yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. So so I thank you very much, people of England, for really promoting me and accepting me through the years without fears. And this is just the beginning. Yeah. When they thought it was the end, this is just the beginning. Yeah. So thank you very much, England. Big up yeah, so on behalf of England, I say thank you to you. Thank yes, you yes, you man. Know, thank you. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah man. So I guess we that e, you know. Yeah, of course. So I guess we'll all watch this space, you yes, know, for what yes. Prince Allah has yes. up his sleeve. Yes. You know? um, and. Yes, I have my sleeve, but I have on my collar because my name is Prince Allah. So I have it in my sleeve, but on my collar. Yeah, man. That's right. Um, so just to add um, at the end now um, for a final question is yes. what are your final words for myself and Willie really Cooley and Don Sinclair for the work that we're doing? Oh, I mean, I say words, words can explain it too tough right now. But you see, Unruly Cooley and Dancing Clear, 
give thanks because it's people like you that keep the music alive. Because if we even sing and there's no one that publish it, we just sing to ourselves and we're friends them. But people like you, you know, chat worldwide, you know, worldwide, you know, and that's it. Rastafari, you know, because you hear all those birds singing in the trees, oh, they are beautiful, but on the week you can hear it. But Dan Sinclair, let the world hear the voice of even Prince Allah, you know, so give thanks. Unruly Cooley and Dan Sinclair, you're gone clear, man. Big, I love that station here. Big YouTube vibes, stay alive. Yeah, man. So, on behalf of myself, I'm really and Don Sinclair, thank you so much for your time. It's been a real privilege and an honor to have this time with you. And uh, we just pray that the Almighty keeps you well, good health, strength, continues to prosper you in everything that you do. Yeah? And just bless you. Bless you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Right. I'll always be well because I'll be right at Jacob's well. <laughs> we all the water yeah, is. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. And I'll see you there. Thank you. Thank, thank you. I know you'll be there, both of you.